And now, Penthouse News, the case of the, what? Extraterrestrials? Ah! Confusion is brought about in the outer worlds of the galaxy as a special message came through from an unidentified being. It says, If anyone has any additional information, please reach out to 800 Pain House News. That was the strangest thing I think I've seen so far. I know, but I can't help but wonder what it was saying. Hmm. Yeah. I really wonder what it was saying. Hmm. I think we should find out. Hmm. You thinking what I'm thinking, Panda? Yep. Listen, we just learned how to astral travel from the dream fairies. I think we need to travel to where it is and talk to it. It's definitely on a planet and on a planet closest to the sun. But that still sounds like it's pretty far from us. Nothing is too far when you dream it. Facts. All right, so what do you think we do? From what it looks like and the size of the sun in comparison, I think we should astral travel to planet Mercury. I'll meet you there, of course. Just let me know when you're ready and just remember to focus on it. Okay, I'm letting the housemates know. Bye. Housemates, welcome back. I'm so happy to see you. I did a giveaway for my very first paint kit for watchers on the Goddess Talk Network. So, if you watched and you participated, I'm really happy that you participated. Special winnings and special thank yous to Coffee Creamer 79, aka little Abby, who won her very first paint kit from the paint house. Now, I will be doing a second giveaway. You will be able to enter it via YouTube. So, I will be doing a YouTube giveaway. Just stay tuned. All right, housemates, so it looks like we have somewhere we need to go, and I'm, I'm a little excited about this one. We're going to paint, I'm almost certain, but remember, this place is different. We have to travel pretty, pretty far, and it's in outer space, so we got to get ready to astral travel. Now, if you remember from the dream fairies that taught us this very special ability to astral travel, this is what's going to help us. So remember, all you do is you sit still, you close your eyes, and you focus on your destination. But you can also travel there in your dreams. Isn't that pretty neat? And of course, we have genius. You have your own genius to assist you. So let's get ready to go to Planet Mercury. So we sit and we focus on Planet Mercury. Let us go. Huh. Ha. Huh. So, this is planet Mercury. I'm pretty astonished, I must say, housemates. What do you think? This is our first time on a different planet together. Isn't that interesting? That's pretty cool, no? I'm excited about this one. I have so many questions, like, how do things exist here? What is the sun like? And what is the moon like? And wait, I, I, I'm sorry. I want to save those questions for later. Let's take a look to see if we can find that extraterrestrial that we saw on Paint House News. Yeah? Let's go. Huh. Do you hear something else? Hmm. I have an idea. Panda, do 
do you know? Where's Panda? I'm here. Don't worry about me. I'm just watching over you. Use your phone. Ask it to translate Mercurian or something. Oh, okay. My phone. Oh, yeah, I can just translate it using my phone. Okay. Help me translate Mercurian. One moment, please. Translating. Oh, am I singing? Absolutely. I'm Terry. Nice to meet you. Well, Terry, it is nice to meet you. I'm Jay, and these are my housemates. Hi, housemates. Housemates, say hi. I am a Mercurian. You're in my planet, planet Mercury, the smallest planet in the solar system and the fastest planet of them all. I don't know how you got here, but I might be happy to see you. I think I could use your help. So, if I may, what were you doing when our satellite was watching you? Satellite? That thing isn't a satellite. A satellite is a moon, planet, or a machine that orbits a star or a planet. Right, right. A machine. That, that was a machine. Oh. I thought that was Techni, from Mars. I was singing about Nabu. Nabu? Who's Nabu? I'm currently searching for Nabu. It is how I create my musical messages. You humans call it a pencil, I've learned. Okay. Nabu is a pencil in Mercurian. I think I have an idea. Housemates, I think we can help Terry write music and poetry again. We gotta head to the studio first. And I think we need to paint Terry a pencil. Or Nabu. Yeah. Let's go. Housemates, welcome back to the studio. I am thrilled to have you back. I know it's been such a long time, but I'm happy to see you nonetheless. Special thank you to our giveaway winner, Coffee Creamer79, little Abby, who won our first paint kit. If you aren't aware, we had a giveaway. That was done exclusively for the watchers of the Paint House on the Goddess Talk Network. We will be having another giveaway for watchers on YouTube as well. So if you aren't able to watch us on Apple TV, Amazon Fire TV, Comcast Big South or Roku, then you have another chance of winning a paint kit that comes with a lot of goodies. Please stay tuned. I am so excited. All right. Now... We need to paint Nabu for Terry. Nabu in Mercurian means pencil. Pretty interesting. So what we're going to do is begin. Now, if you notice, we may have, we changed up a little, just a little bit. We've added our one of our palettes here. Of course, as you know, we have our brushes. I'm not sure which brush I'm going to use yet. We have our cup of water to clean our brush as well as to loosen the paint. And then we have our canvas. Yes? Yes. Are you all ready? Now, the colors we're going to need are just four today. Yellow, red, black, and white. So, we're going to create a pencil. So, I'm going to grab my small brush here, as you know. We're going to grab some water, loosen up the bristles, of course. We're going to shape them a little bit, like so. Pull them a little bit. And the first color we're going to grab is yellow, because we're going to mix a light orange. You know, pencils are typically, they're, they're somewhat orange, a little peach color. So we're going to grab some yellow. And always remember, you know the rule, add dark to light. Why do we add dark to light? You know, it saves you paint and you can always add more color if your colors aren't mixing the way that you want. So add dark to light always, okay? See this color, we have a bit of a, an orange color so we want to first get a rough 
estimate of the shape. So we're going to say the pencil is going to be about the width of, let's say, one, two, about three inches in, di in diameter or three inches wide. I think I got my measurements right. And we're going to paint it downwards. So a downwards triagonal. I'm sorry, a downwards diagonal pencil. So let's first just get the overall shape. So remember, pencils about this, like that, and then they meet to a fine tip like that. like this, and then they have a tip for an eraser. Yes, yes, like so. Now, of course, we have to add our marks to separate the lines to give more form, but we're gonna get this thing going, all right. So I think I'm going to make my orange a bit more opaque. So I'm gonna mix some more orange first because you know, typically our colors are transparent. Once you add white to your mixed color at the end, it makes it more opaque, which means you are, yes, you're saving more paint. Because if your colors are too transparent, meaning you can see beneath the canvas when you apply your layer, then you're gonna to have to apply multiple, multiple layers just so that it covers well. So adding white, you know, does a pretty neat trick. Now you see, I'm changing the rules just a little, bending the rules a little, you saw I added I was pulling different colors. So here we are. We're gonna put this, this is gonna be our base color of our pencil, but we're going to stop. We're gonna stop. We're gonna leave, we're gonna make little lines like this. And we're gonna fill up the entire space here. All of this is gonna be filled up. All right, so we fill in just the base coat for the majority of the handle, the place where our hand rests on for the pencil. Next, we're going to fill in the bottom area. That's where the lead is. Typically, when we insert into the pencil sharpener, we shave it down and then we get the lead point or closer to the lead point. So we're gonna fill that in and then we're gonna fill in the eraser. So what I did was, the color that I use for this, for the base coat, I simply added more yellow here to brighten it up. And then I grabbed a bit more white to make it more opaque. And then I fill it in here. Next, we're going to create the eraser. Erasers are typically pink, right? Right. So what colors do you mix to create pink? Starting with which color? You guessed it, white first, and then add red second. White first, red second. All right, so we're gonna fill this in now. Next, we're going to add the point of the lead on the tip of the pencil. So we're gonna use our smallest brush, of course. Grab just a pinch of black. Now, just a small amount. And we're going to start here. Like that. Looky there. Now, we're almost done. We're gonna to want to create 
lines to outline the shape of the pencil. I'm going to add borders to the entire pencil. That's going to make it pop. And you'll understand exactly what I mean. So what we're going to do first, we're going to still use black, but just remember you don't want a lot, just a small amount of black on the bristles of the brush. And we're going to make a very light outline across the entire pencil. All right, so we're going to add our lines down there. We're also going to add our outline on the outside just to make sure. All right, see how we have the lines that give some separation of where our pencil is going to be. Now, I know Getting straight lines can be a bit challenging. Don't worry about that. We're here to help Terry. We're not here to be perfect, okay? Remember that. This isn't about perfection. This is about creation. And creation is perfection. Remember that, okay? So, I just wanted to get some of that line off of there. All right. So, there you have it. We have Nabu or a pencil for Terry. Let's get back to Planet Mercury. Ready? All right, housemates, we're back on Planet Mercury. Terry, are you ready? All right, got our pencils or we have Nabu in Mercurian. We ready to shake this canvas, bring this art to life. One, two, and shake. Oh my Mercury. Thank you, housemates. I can finally create my music again. For your hard creative work, you I are think I'm going well. to write you a song. Give me a few Mercury days, though. One Mercury day is about 60 days on Earth. So expect my gift in about 60 days. Until next time, housemates. See ya. Well, housemates, how does it feel to be back? Feels good, right? I'm so happy to see you again. I'm happy to paint again. I'm excited. You excited too, right? Well, looks like we have a gift on the way from Terry. We can wait. Okay, back to the paint house we go. I am so happy to be back. Happy to see you guys and happy to get creative. But it is time that I say my goodbye for now. But as always, housemates, create and be free. Why? because you never know who needs your magic. Until next time, I'm out.